Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Goat Show. Uh, today, we're going to participate in something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to call it The Goat Show 2.0. I am trying to become a little bit less vulgar and a little bit uh, more monetizable. You know how it goes. I'm getting closer to the 1,000 subscribers, and I would like to start making some money. So come, help me out. Help me to make some money. Please subscribe, like, hit the notifications bell, comment down below. All of this traffic is the monitor this, man. They are watching. They're watching. Okay. All right. So today we're going to kick this off with a little tutorial. I have had a few of my fans asking uh, how I do certain things and where I am acquiring certain things. Um, I am being assisted in this recording by my friend, Mr. Frosty Lizard. You, you uh, might have heard of him on a website, not website, a YouTube channel called Frosty Lizard Lives. You can find him there. He has his custom URL. We are trying to get him up to 500. Please help him out. Once we get to 500, we're actually going to be doing a little bit of a, you know, a reward, a thank you of sorts for our fans. He is going to do a live stream on his Twitch, and we are going to uh, do one of those uh, really hot chip challenge doohickeys. You know how it goes. Anyways, uh, so today the tutorial we're going to do, we're going to be creating a little device that uh, a lot of people like to, uh, you know, wondering how I'm doing, uh, where are the makings of the sound effects that don't exist in the rec room, you know. When, when you, 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 you know, when you do the sound effects, you get like, you know, you get the horn and you get the, some basic sounds, but sometimes it just doesn't have what you need. And if it doesn't have the sound that you need, Rec Room gives you the opportunity to make your own sound effects. So we are going to learn how to do this and how to make it trigger. Okay, there's a few different ways. So let's start off. We're going to get to onto our uh, maker pen here, and we're going to collect uh, on the palette. Okay. So once you select on the palette, you're going to go up to the little search, uh, the little search thingy there with the magnifying glass, and you're going to type in. Uh, we're going to start with. We're going to do a little bit different type of triggerings. We're going to use what's called trigger volume. So go ahead and type in trigger volume. And then you're going to select the thing that says trigger volume. It looks like a little purple box like this. Boink. You see the little purple box. Let me hear. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you here. Um, I'm going to hit transform, and I'm going to grab the little white square in the middle and pull it up. And that makes it bigger, you see. Mm. You know, I need to grab that thing, though, and bring it down, don't I? Because it is way up there, and I can't uh, wire it very easy if it is way up there. So I'm going to grab it and come down here. Uh, okay, and, and there we go. Okay. And, you know, as a matter of fact, I don't want it to go anywhere else when I move that purple box. And I, there is a way to fix this. You can hit Configure on your, uh, on your Maker Pen. Click on just the, uh, the menu. Configure. Bam. Right? Then uh, you, you click, right? And, and then on here it says chip settings. You, cl you click on chip settings and scroll down just a little bit. It says attachment mode. It says follow right now. But if you click on it and hit detach, right? Then what happens is I can, I can then move the purple thing around, right? The, the, tri the actual uh, trigger volume and, and, and see, now that thing doesn't move. So if I have it wired up, it doesn't go anywhere now, you see. Okay. So this is... Uh, and Mr. Frosty, if you put your maker pen down for a second and act like a normal civilian, you will see that the trigger volume for your audience has disappeared. Now, it is actually still there, and you will see because Mr. Frosty is going to pick his gun back up now. And you see, bam, it is still there. It is there the whole time. And what you have to imagine this thing being, I know it's kind of weird, trigger volume. It's really, the volume thing doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but it's basically a switch that you can use when people or things enter that region. You know, so think of it as like, a, you could even use it for this. You could even use it for like automatic lights, you know. So say you have a, a house that you have built, right? And you have a light in that house. When you walk into the room, you can walk past right through one of these and it would trigger the lights to kick on. You see? You understand this? It is, it is a triggering mechanism, okay? There we go. Okay, so we got the trigger volume. Now you need to get back onto the maker pen. You click on the palettes. And uh, we're going to be doing audio stuff, so we're probably going to need what is called an audio player. So if you type in audio, you should be able to see A-U-D-I-O. Uh, there we go, audio player. You see this little uh, gray square thing here, right? You see that? We're going to put that right here just for ease of access, you see? This, there's the audio player. That is what the sound is going to come out of. But there's no sound in there right now. It doesn't do anything on its own. Um, 
there are things you can figure, but there, it is much more useful if you can make your own, right? Because there's going to be more sounds you can do. So now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to find a way to create the sound. For creating the sound, you type in what is called a sampler, S-A-M-P, sampler, right? Uh, and you look up sample audio constant, okay? That is the chip that you want, sample audio constant. And we are going to place this right here. Boop. And that is what the chip looks like when it comes out. It just has a yellow tab, nothing else. Sample audio. You understand? Okay, so for this one now, what we're going to do, Frosty, I'm going to have you actually produce one of your own sample audio chips uh, right beside here so that you can actually click on it to configure it. That way people can see that menu items because you are configuring your own. So go ahead and produce a, a sample audio chip and place right here. Got you. Oh, there you are. Now, ladies and gentlemen, for the purposes of the invention, you don't need two sample audio chips. You only need the one sample audio chip. This one is only here so that Frosty can click on it and show you the menu screens that I am showing, okay? Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click Configure on your gun, and you're going to shoot the sample audio chip that you're going to be using, okay? Now, if you look at your uh, maker pen, you'll see chip settings. You click on that, and right below this, you will see in red letters, edit sample. Do you see edit sample? You click on the edit sample, and as soon as you do that, it will say sample recorder, and it will have a red button with a record, okay? Right? You understand? And then there is this little sampling audio here sections. This is where your, uh, the, the red line here, this is where your actual recording of your audio will be showing up. That is important. We will show that later on. You have up to 300 seconds of recording time, which is pretty significant compared to what uh, the uh, recording for the V1 option is. That is much, much less, much less. So we're going to record a little bit of a sample here. I think for this particular one, we're going to uh, record a very simple greeting. Okay, so here we go. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the GOAT Show. I am so glad that you have arrived. We were waiting for you. Please hit like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notifications button. And when you're done with that, please go to visit my friend, Frosty Lizard Lives. All right, have a great time. And then you click your stop button. And now look, you see this little strip right here. You see all of the redness that has come up. It has popped right there. You see this? Yeah, that is because that is all of the audio. Now, remember how I said this was important. Well, you see where the red actually begins right there? This area is dead airspace. I can take this little slider and eliminate the dead airspace. Boink to like that, you see? And I can do the same on the end with this other slider. Boink. Now I have narrowed it down to the audio field that is actually there. And I, let's say I want to preview before I hit save. Let's see how it sounds. Preview. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the GOAT Show. I am so glad that you have arrived. We were waiting for you. Please hit like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notifications button. And when you're done with that, please go to visit my friend, Frosty Lizard Lives. All right, have a great time. That sounded pretty good, so I think I will click save, right? Okay, so that is saved. That's awesome, right? Okay. Now, does it work? No. It... Because there's no wires. Everybody knows for electronics we need wires. Well, let's get some wires going. You click on the tools, right? And uh, you click the dens over there so you're not on the, uh, the audio thing anymore. And you click this at the button that says connect. Okay, now for connectings, we're going to take the audio, the sample audio, right, from this yellow tab, and we are going to plug it into the audio player's audio input tab. So that will say, hey, audio player, when you're told to play something, play this. And that is your sample audio, right? Okay, so in this particular case, imagine this particular, uh, this particular little box of invisibility 
being uh, at your front door of uh, of the of the building that you have created in your rec rooms. And and when you have somebody guest enter your room, you want to have a verbal introduction to say hello to them. So that way, when they pass through this, it will play the audio sample. But as you noticed, as I pass through it, it is still not as well. There's no wires. We need more wires. So we are once again hitting with the connect. And this time, when a player enters the field, right, hand or otherwise, I want it to play the audio player, right? Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the GOAT Show. I am so glad that you have arrived. We were waiting for you. Please hit like, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notifications button. And when you're done with that, please go to visit my friend. Frosty Lizard lives. All right, have a great now I time. forgot something. It doesn't stop automatically. Oh, it did. Okay, well, usually, if it doesn't stop automatically, you can go finished to stop. And then that will stop it completely when it finishes its little particular routine, okay? So, that is basically how you do this. Now, you can use this for a couple of things, like I said. You can use it for, uh, you know, introductions, right? Or, you know, you can make it a, you can make it a, you can go bing bong and it works. <laughs> you can put any kind of tune in there you want. You know, you can sample audio in multiple different ways and record it to there. You know, there's a bunch of different things you could do. Like, for instance, here, check this out. We're going to uh, create a little some something, something here. Let's uh, let's create a poker chair, right? We're going to create a pranking poker chair. How's that? That sound good, everybody? Okay. So then, what we need to do is we need to uh, take this little box here. We're going to take that little box, and we're going to put this little box right over here. All right, you see what I'm doing there, everybody? Everybody, you see that? You see that? Okay. Then we're going to configure our audio sample. All right. I click clear. It's down in the lower left-hand corner, and then I hit save. Now, that will clear the audio, and it will save it as a blank track, allowing you to once again record over it, as you see on my screen. So I will click record here. Wait the five seconds. And then, and then stop it. And then after that, I will edit the clip to where there is no dead airspace. We will trim it down to here and trim it up from the beginning to right there. We end up with a little bit over a four second clip to save. So we have saved it now. We have saved it. Now we click the done. And now, Frosty, would you be so kind as to do the honors of sitting in my newfound uh, oopsie chair? Please sit on the oopsie cushion. <laughs> oh, no, you have shited yourself. That is unfortunate. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you have seen, there are many different things that if you think outside of the box that you can do by creating this little particular audio player. And I hope the tutorial has helped you and you will enjoy the fun immensely. Don't forget to think outside of the box, ladies and gentlemen. That is how we come up with new stuff. Have a great day. Goodbye. Hello. Your call cannot be taken at the moment, so please leave your message after the tone.